we are conditioning ourselves for the next asan class we we'll start with sita prarthana asan steady prayer pose stand tall smile broad both the palms at the center of the chest chin parallel to the ground slowly close your eyes and watch your breath do not control your breath just feel the air coming in going out we we'll start with the prayer hum apne man ko hamesha santulit rakhna hai isi mein hi hamara aatma vikas samaya hai hum apne man ko hamesha संतुलित रखना है इसी में ही हमारा आत्मविकास समाया है आत्मविकास समाया है आत्मविकास समाया है हरिओम तत्सत जय गुरुदेव Good morning everybody namaste suprabhat good morning good morning how is your energy level up hi hi ready for surya namaskars today yes okay okay so start with the warm up so start with the shoulder rotations <coughs> other way around good and relax okay take the hands in front and do this variation side one okay because we need the shoulders open for the surya namaskar release other side <coughs> release one more round good release other side relax take the hands in front lock the fingers good stretch them out other way round other way round and relax take your hands by side at shoulder just move your palms up and down good up down rotate clockwise other way round and relax so very slowly start moving your shoulders up and down go higher fly 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 good 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 and relax okay turn your head to the right <coughs> center left center right center left center drop your head to the right center left center right center left center 
rotate your head clockwise other way around and relax <coughs> hip rotation hands on your hip move your hips rotate them other way around change change and relax feet together fold your knees slowly rotate them other way around and relax okay comfortable Let's start with ek padasan series lift your leg place your toe on your opposite thigh put your palms in namaste chin up eyes focus breathe normal just stay there breathe ek padasan standing on one leg release Throughout the practice, breathe normal. Perfect. Release and relax. Okay. Vrukshasan. Slowly lift your leg. Place your toe on your opposite thigh. Lock it properly. Then take your arms up all the way. Put your palms together and stay there. Since your toe is locked properly, you can get a nice stretch. Release. Other side. Perfect. The stretch is important in this variation, Vrukshasan. Release. Natrajasan. Slowly lift your leg, hold your toe or ankle, and push your leg away from the body. Good. Just feel the stretch. Release. Other side. <coughs> slowly release excellent press in front slowly lift your leg hold your toe arm up in the air and very slowly push your leg away from the body slowly change perfect release and relax pavan muktasan standing Keep the back straight, chin up. Change. Release. Side variation. Excellent. Slowly get the hold of your fingers. Perfect. Flex the toe down. Back straight. Release. Other side. Good. Good. 
Back should be straight in the final position of this variation. Pawan Muktasana standing side variation. Release. Christina favorite, Garudas. Perfect. You have not tried no? longer. See? I think it, 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 it skipped your mind now. Maybe this week. Okay. But I want to try Sita Samadhi for Okay. Try. Those who are practicing with us, Sita Prarthana Asana, if you practice it for more than one hour, you just try this. Since you have time, you don't have to do anything. Those who are sitting at home, you are not working, you are not doing. Whenever you are getting bored, you don't have to do anything, just stand in Sthit Pratanasana. Release. Sideways. <clears throat> in my team, all my teachers who work with me, I tell them to practice Sthit Pratanasana for one hour. Once they practice, they come to know what is it. It is really overcoming the Dwandva. What the third sutra says about the asana, change. Tatho. Okay. Dwandva. Anavighat. So when you start practicing, you try and you come to know what I'm saying. I can't just say, I can't tell you that the experience. You'll have to, you know, experience and then only you'll come to know what is it. And those who have difficulties with your postures, those who think that I can't do all these things, try Sthit Pratnasana and after, your, after that, your sadhana is absolutely on the other level of you know, release. Ardha When you start practicing Sthit Pratnasana, <clears throat> First few minutes, it's very easy, comfortable. The game starts after seven or eight minutes. Eyes focus, breathe normal. Change. And as the time goes and the tamas, that inertia, it really start pulling you, pulling you. Just open your eyes. You'll come to the stage that you'll say, Pagal hai, kuch bhi bolta hai. The mad person, it is not possible to stand in Sthit Pratnasana. Stay, 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 release. And see. Okay? Shal. So, just we'll do some warm up for the Surya Namaskar. So, we'll start with the Samakonasan. So, face this side, Samakonasan. Nice stretch. And very slowly bend forward. Perfect. Upper body should be parallel to the ground. Feel the weight on the toes. Stretch your body. Slowly come back. And hands down. One more round. Slowly take your arms up. Bend forward till your upper body is parallel to the ground. Excellent. Feel the weight on the toes. And back. Okay. So today we'll skip the Dvikonasan. We'll go for Trikonasan directly. Stretch your hands at shoulder. Push your body forward. Just lower your arms down. Touch your fingertip to the toe. Shift the weight on the toe. Excellent. The triangle. Slowly come back. And hand down. In Vinyasa, first you do Hastapadasan, then you come into Trikonasan. Am I right? With you when you practice with the yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Try one more round. And that show no. Some Dviko Trikonasan. Okay. Just go down. Good. Hasta, ah, that's what Hastapadasan, then you come up into this and then again you start the Chaturanga. Release. Come back. And down. So just, we'll demonstrate what we are talking about, okay? So in Vinyasa, when you do the Surya Namaskar A and B, the starting position, Hastapadasana. 
Hastapad. Yeah. Okay, first is Namaste. Good. Hastapad. Then you come into Trikul. Excellent. Okay, so that is the flow for your Vinyasa. Ashtanga. Okay, so done? Ready? Yes. Stand. In Surya Namaskar, what is important? Where you start your asana, so Namaskar, you will end the Namaskar at the same. So if we are not able to place the palms on the floor, they can fold the knees, place the palms on the floor and then start, okay? Ashwa, what is important when you bring the toe? So it should come in front. So if you, the toe is not coming, you can help with your know, other hand. Just bring it and then place it and then do it. Clear? Sthita Prarthanasana. Six set. Okay. Okay. Six set. Ready? Hastavutan. Hastapad. Right leg back, Ashwa Sanchalanasan. Left leg back, Parvatasan. Press the heels on the floor. Bring the entire body in. Then slowly go into Ashtang. Knees, chest, chin on the floor. Turn the toes out. Slowly move into Bhujang. Come back into Parvat. Right leg in front. Left leg in front, Hastapadasan. Hastavuttan. And Sthita. Left side. Sthita. Hastavuttan. Hastapad. Left back. Right back. Ashtang. Bhujang. Parvat, left in front, right in front, Hastavuttan, and Sthita, perfect. Second round, Sthita Prarthanasan, Hastavuttan, Hastapad, Right back, Ashwa Sanchalanasan. Left back, Parvatasan. Ashtang, knees, chest, chin. Turn the toes, Bhujang. Come back into Parvat. Right in front. Left in front. Hastavutta and Sthita. Left side, Sthita. Hastavutta. Hastapad. Left back, Ashwa. Right back, Parvat. Ashtang, knees, chest, chin. Bhujang. Back into Parvat, left in front, right in front, stretch arms, and Sthita, excellent, comfortable, four more rounds to go, ready, Sthita, Hastavuttan, Hastapad, right back, Left back, <coughs> Ashtang, knees, chest, chin, Bhujang, back into Parvat, right in front, left in front, Hastavutta, and Sthita. Ready for left, Sthita, Hastavuttan, Hastapad, left back, Ashwa, right back, Parvat, Ashtang, 
भूजंग बैक इन टू पर्वत लेफ्ट इन फ्रंट राइट इन फ्रंट हस्त उत्तम स्थित थ्री मोर राउंड सुगो कैच योर ब्रेथ रेडी फोर्थ राउंड हस्त उत्तम हस्तपाद राइट बैक अश्व लेफ्ट बैक पर्वत अष्टांग भुजंग कम बैक इन टू पर्वत राइट इन फ्रंट लेफ्ट इन फ्रंट स्थित लेफ्ट साइड हस्त उत्तान हस्तपाल लेफ्ट बैक राइट बैक अष्टांग भूजंग Come back into Parvat. Left in front. Right in front. Hasta Uttan. Sthita. Excellent. Two more rounds to go. Sthita. Hasta Uttan. Hasta Pa. Right back. left back ashtang bhujang back into parvat right in front left in front stretch arms and sthita left side हस्त उत्तान हस्त पाद लेफ्ट बैक राइट बैक अष्टांग भुजंग पर्वत लेफ्ट इन फ्रंट राइट इन फ्रंट stretch your arms and sthit ready last round sthit hast uttan hast pad right back left back ashtang bhujang parvat right in front left in front hast uttan and sthit left side hast uttan hast pad left back right back अष्टांग नीज चेस चिन भुजंग बैग इन टू पर्वत लेफ्ट इन फ्रंट राइट इन फ्रंट हस्त उत्तान स्थित वन फ्री ओके ओके So after doing six, you get one free. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we always want na something free when we go to the mall. What we see, okay, buy one get one free. So yes. after doing six namaskar, you get one namaskar free. Okay. It's Enjoy. Huh? A good deal. Huh? A good deal. It's a good deal. Okay. Take your time. Sit prasanna. So now this will do 
we'll hold it little bit longer so you can recover your breath catch your breath ready so very slowly go into hasta uttan excellent slowly move into hasta pad perfect super christina stay there for a while now take the right back stay there now your body is absolutely open so get connected open your heart that we are talking about the connection with the guru that is this is the way to get connected left back <coughs> now this parvatasan is the excellent posture for surya namaskar with more rounds you can catch your breath you can recover your breath in this because it's a inversion your heart is getting rest now go into ashtang ashtang bhujang hold it breathe come back into parvat right in front left in front stay there slowly rise up like a yogi excellent perfect and sthita last round ready hasta uttan hasta pa excellent ashwa with left back good right back parvat press the heels on the floor move your entire body in open your hamstrings slowly go into ashtang bhujang feel the strength of cobra come back into parvat mountain pose feel the strength that the base is the wider then slowly take the left leg in front good right in front <clears throat> now slowly rise up like a yogi excellent and sthita perfect now three rounds of gayatri take your stand okay just enjoy the vibrations you can do with me if you know the mantra take a deep breath ho
and slowly come back to the mat end of the mat sit in vajrasana just feel the vibration of a mantra gayatri is a very powerful mantra mantra manana prayate it freezes from the bondages there is no fear there is no anxiety there is no holding back okay if you know the kleshas we have the five klesha okay so abhinivesh is the last one fear of change so when you start chanting mantras there is no fear okay comfortable it's a very important part of your sadhana when you start practicing the mantras it's very important get the vibrations and it is not only you are getting the vibrations all the surrounding okay especially whenever you feel low if any member of your family is feeling low feeling anxious just start chanting mantra and see the difference it's a very 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 powerful thing even if someone is sick if someone is if you know just you can chant for that person and that person gets the vibration you try this and you'll come to know okay ready so we'll today we'll do then today we'll do the chandrasan chandra namaskar so when you add chandrasan in your surya namaskar practice it becomes a chandra namaskar okay so we'll sit with the right knee up in a virasan i just saw that you did i think this you did with the hansa mana virasan because i was just when that editing was going on i just said that you're sitting so just low little bit back so your back should be straight so when she will do with that leg i'll tell you you have to adjust the toe where yeah so you are not leaning forward in virasan virasan it's a virasan how we do virasan see this yeah virasan yes that's it good the force See some asanas you have to practice with the force. Okay, so we have nine ras. Those who know the Indian classical dance, there are no ras. Okay, I'll explain you after the what are the ras. The one is the vir ras. It's a warrior, warrior. You can feel the vigor. Okay, ready? Now we charge. We go for ashwa. Take the right leg in front. Stay there. Now place the left knee on the floor. Okay, so what we'll do first, we'll do some hip opening and then we'll turn the toe out, Christina. Good. Now come up. Just come up here. No, just come up. To put the palms. Ah, that's it. Okay. Now, what is important thing? <clears throat> If you want, you can take the right leg little bit out. Yes, yes, yes. Now you have to press your left thigh towards ground. Get it? Get a nice pressure here. Yes, yes, yes. If you want to make it effective, you take little bit toe out. Let the toe go away. As the toe goes out, you get the nice pressure because then the this thigh can go more down towards. And then keep the back straight. Don't, don't lean forward. Ha! Huh. So you're not doing this. You keep the back straight. The moment your back is aligned with your hip, you get the nice pressure on your thigh. Getting it? Now just keep going back. Just keep pushing your body back. That's it. Perfect. <coughs> getting it? Now relax your hands. and slowly take the pop in the air slowly start arching back yes now you get it okay stiram sukhasana i can say that <laughs> so that's it you can keep those who find it difficult you keep the hands parallel don't put your palms up that's it so keep practicing this it's a excellent hip opener and back opener slowly come down Now you can adjust the toe again, and we are going to the chandrasan. We are taking the knee off the ground. Okay, so take the comfortable distance accordingly your proportion of the legs, and we go into chandrasan. Perfect, excellent. The crescent of the moon. So when you add this asan into your surya namaskar practice, surya namaskar surya namaskar become chandra namaskar. Slowly put your palms on the floor and come back into downward dog pose. or parvatasan good then <coughs> go back into vajrasan sit and vajrasan okay so we'll repeat the same thing with the left side so left knee up yes so what was i was talking the where you have to so you can bring the toe little bit so your back should remain straight when you place the elbow on your knee little bit go back that's perfect 
virasan with the figure with you know with that force with that vigor just feel it then slowly charge go in front perfect so first we are going for the hip opening so you can take the leg out as far as you can take the toe out perfect comfortable now take the palms on your knees and keep pushing your thigh towards crown keep the back straight because after practicing surya namaskar your body is open so you can do this so it will you know have the more benefit out of your practice <clears throat> now stretch your arms up in the air and start going back <clears throat> in this you're working on your chakras perfect now we'll go for chandrasan again adjust the toe accordingly and if you want you can take the knee off the ground all the way up perfect feel the stretch and slowly come back adho mukha chandrasan or parvatasan then place the knees on the floor and sit in vajrasan okay or you can relax in shashankasan for a while because you're getting now after practice you can just you relax your body now again we go for uh, before we go into hanuman asan what we'll do we'll get the warm up exercises so take the right leg in front ashwa Again you can take the leg as far as and place both the palms on the one side so it is the left side and you have to move your hip up and down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 on your elbows perfect hip up and down 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 for it on the ground 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 slowly come back <coughs> change the side left leg in front both the palms on the right side Once you are in position, make sure the knee and heel is aligned, or the toe can go a little bit beyond, but it shouldn't be in. One more round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. On your elbows, Christina started sweating. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Put it on the ground. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Back into Vajrasana. You can do Prasthasana if you want. You can relax, or you can do Shashankasana. Prasthasana, little bit ahead. That's better. Excellent. <clears throat> so always when you are practicing any practice intense practices relax in between so you don't get cramps your muscles are not pulled out as very important part of your practice rest rest and rest come back into vajrasana ready for hanuman asana okay So we come on the knees first then we take the leg out one and very slowly move into the asana you can go a little bit back so both the ha huh, that's it perfect good yes if you are comfortable then only you can take the arms up in the air put your palms together hanuman asan if you want to make the practice intense bend forward Perfect. Keep looking up. It's 
slowly coming back lift your body up yes and then come out of dasan and other leg perfect cross push good If you are comfortable, stretch your arms up in the air. Put your palm into Namaste. Both the palms. Stretch your arms. And those who are comfortable, they can bend forward all the way down. Come back into Vajrasana. Okay, relax. Now you can go down, lie down on your side then, and on your back. <clears throat> Just relax for a while. Yashti Gasan, feet together. Slowly stretch your arms up. Good. Point your toes out. Feel the stretch. Relax your body. Lock the fingers. Turn the toes in. Kick the heels out. Perfect. This variation of Yashtigasana is excellent for especially your lower back when you kick the heels out. Okay, you get a nice massage to your back, especially lower back. Release and relax. <clears throat> okay, we'll do very basic asanas lying down. Okay, so we'll do the Pavan Mukta Asan series lying down. Slow, slowly, right leg, squeeze it. Now we do the side variation, Pavan Muktasan lying down. So bring your right knee up, take it towards your right shoulder and squeeze it. Perfect. Okay. Pavan Muktasan, side variation lying down. Release. Lift. Bring it to your shoulder. release now we do the cross variation so bring your right leg up right knee up and take it to your left shoulder squeeze it release other side good release last round both the legs up again pavan muktasan squeeze it hard lift your head try to touch your chin or fall it to your knee get a nice pressure on the abdomen put your head down and okay. good relax <coughs> <coughs> Do Sukta Bhadrasan, just fold the legs in Bhadrasan. Bhadrasan, yeah, good. Again, Sukta Bhadrasan is a very, very, very effective posture for relaxation. Those who are not comfortable with the legs straight, you can do this. Now slowly lift your toes, hold with your palms without cheating. 
what is cheating this is cheating so no cheating toes remain there and head goes to the toe good that's better release and relax take straight good. now last we do supta vakrasana for twist while practicing surya namaskar if you have the pressure come on the back it will release so take the hands at shoulder okay drop your knee to the right side center left center one more round right center left center now the same thing we do with the toes and knees apart drop the knees to the side turn your head on the opposite side you can lift the toe and press it on your knee so you get a nice pressure release and the side good supta vakrasan it's a very easy to do but very effective to reduce the fat from your waist your abdomen release try one more round squeeze it keep pressing stay there for 10 counts om van om tu om tri Om Phum Om Phum Om Sih Om Sih Om Eh Om Na Om Te the side keep smiling now your face is towards camera okay <laughs> so 10 counts om om tu om tri Place your right palm on the abdomen. So today we'll do the suspension of a breath. Okay, your intense practice is done. So it's a suspension of a breath. We inhale. After exhaling, we pull our abdomen in. We stay there for five counts. Before we inhale, release abdomen, and then we inhale. Okay, hypertension, cardiac problem, any pregnant lady will not do this exercise. It's a suspension of a breath. first round inhale exhale pull your abdomen in suspend your breath 2 3 4 5 release your abdomen breathe in. breathe normal comfortable everybody with technique and counts second round inhale exhale abdomen in suspend your breath 2 3 4 five release your abdomen breathe in. breathe normal 
Hydra Inhale Exhale Abdomen in, suspend your breath Two Three Four Five Release your abdomen, breathe in Breathe normal Two more rounds to go. Ready? Inhale. Exhale. Abdomen in. Suspend your breath. Two. Three. Four. Five. Release your abdomen. Breathe in. Breathe normal. Last round. Inhale. Exhale. Abdomen in. Suspend your breath. Two. Three. Four. Five. Release your abdomen. Breathe in. Breathe normal. Comfortable? Relax and show asana. Most difficult asana. Show asana. It's a conscious relaxation. We are not sleeping in this. <clears throat> we practice this with the vairagya bhava, not the body. Just let go. Ready? We start with our toes. I relax my toes. My toes are relaxed. I relax my ankle. My ankles are. Relax. I relax my calves. My calves are relaxed. I relax. My knees, my knees are relaxed. I relax my thighs, my thighs. my groin my groin relax I relax my my abdomen my abdomen relax I relax my chest my chest my shoulder 
my shoulders up, relax, I relax my neck, my neck is relaxed. I relax my chin, my chin is relaxed. I relax my lips, my lips. Relax. I relax my nose, my nose is relax. I relax my. I relax my forehead, my forehead is relaxed. I relax my skull, my skull is My whole body is relaxed. I am relaxed. I am relaxed. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Krishna Krishna Krishna
very slowly move your fingers, move your toes, bring your feet together very slow, turn to your side very slowly. Taking support of your heart, sit in Sukhasana. Very slowly open your eyes. We end the session here. Thank you very much. Take care. Hari Om Tat Sat. जय गुरुदेव